Hi friends, my name is Anuradha and in this lecture I will be setting up Telegraph on AWS Linux instance. What we have done so far in our last lecture, we set up InfluxDB and Grafana instance on Linux machine. And now what we will be doing, we will be setting up Telegraph on same machine or you can do on different machine as well, it doesn't matter. And then we will be monitoring the machine on which the telegraph is installed. Telegraph, as we all know, is a monitoring agent from tick stack. Telegraph collects data from different kinds of data sources and sends data to diverse databases. Our focus here is in FluxDB. To set up Telegraph on Linux machine, I'll be taking help from one of my posts on my blog, qamilestone.com, and we'll be following the steps mentioned on it. So let's go to our AWS EC2 instance where we did a setup of InfluxDB and Grafana instance in our last lecture, and let's proceed for further steps. So I'm on my AWS EC2 instance, and on the same machine, I have my InfluxDB and Grafana instance set up, and that we can validate with this command. Right, we ran this in Docker container, these two um, applications. Uh, now the point is that it is not necessary that you need to have Telegraph on the same machine where you have InfluxDB instance. In fact, you can install Telegraph on any machine which you want to monitor. And then finally, once the Telegraph is up and running, you need to point Telegraph to InfluxDB instance URL. That's all you have to do. So. Let's bring Telegraph installable on this machine and then we will install it. So I'll make a directory, Telegraph, and I'll go to this directory and let me go to my post and I'll follow this command. Okay, and you can also copy this command from um, InfluxDB portal, okay, for your relevant OS. So I'll copy this command and I'll bring RPM on this machine. So once RPM is Available all I have to give sudo yum install and the RPM name Okay So here it installs telegraph now the next thing let's see what we have to do We have to configure telegraph to send data and for that we'll go to etc telegraph So once I'm inside etc telegraph, I have to monitor, I have to edit telegraph.conf. Okay, go to section output plugins and inside that outputs.influxdb. Okay, and then I have to go to the last part URLs. Let me go to insert mode. Here I have to point telegraph to the actual instance of influxdb. So right now, for this telegraph, it is running on same machine. We can take it as it is, but we will take the public IP. Okay, so that in case you have telegraph on different machine, all you have to do, you have to add the actual IP address on which InfluxDB instance is running. And of course, the port, default port on which we ran is 8086. And in case you are running on a different port, you can change the port here as well. So all this is all we have to do in etc config. Let me save it. So let's check the status of telegraph service. This says it is dead. So let's start service sudo service telegraph start. Okay, so this should start telegraph service. Let's check again. And it says it is active and running. So with this telegraph is uh, up and running on the system and uh, next thing is we have to verify that it is able to send data to it is able to connect to influx db server and for that we can run this command and let's see here it is able to load uh, measurements to influx db so let's go to influx db okay i'll do docker ps minus a again and what I'll do, I'll uh, go to 
influx db container you see we have not done any further thing to monitor host machine we have not taken any step to monitor host machine all we have done is we have installed telegraph and we have pointed it to influx db instance by default telegraph is able to monitor this data and let's go to docker sec it and the container name so we are inside influx db container i'll give command influx and let me see show databases once telegraph is up and running it creates telegraph database inside this uh, container and you can also change the name of uh, db in case you want uh, by uh, in configuration file let's go to this database use telegraph and let me just see measurements are loaded or not show measurements and you see here are different measurements loaded inside this influx db container let's quickly go to grafana container let's add data source over here i'll select influx db and um, then i'll copy the same ip address because my influx db is running on the same machine I give 8086 mention my database name and this time it is telegraph right and let's check the resource and it says data source is working okay and let's go and create dashboard i'll create a new dashboard simply add one query i'll select the db which i have created and i'll select measurement okay and then field any field i can select and here is data So that was all about it. I hope it was useful to you. In our next lecture, we we'll learn to send data to InfluxDB using Python libraries. So stay tuned. Thank you.